Hello, learners! It's time to learn new things today. Our learning objectives are Describe the appearances of a solution Identify the factors affecting solubility And give examples of solution used at home Factors affecting solubility Task number 1 Check if the following mixtures are solution X if suspension and an O if colloid. Let's go back to our lesson about solutions. A solution is a special type of mixture. It is a homogeneous mixture that combines a solute and a solvent. Our question of the day, how can we make a perfect solution? Things to prepare, powdered milk, coffee powder, sugar, glass with cold water, cup of hot water. Our second activity is perfect blend. Here are the procedures that you're going to do. Put your answers here in table observation. Our guide questions are What are the solute in the given mixture? What are the solvent in the given mixture? Did you pour it in the same amount of solute in each type of solvent? In which type of water did you saw lumps of solute on top of the mixture? In which type of water did you observe that solutes dissolved well? Let's analyze activity number 2. Solubility is the ability of a solute to dissolve in a given amount of solvent. There are different factors affecting solubility of a solution. Number 1. Heating or temperature. It could affect solubility because most solute dissolves faster when there is an increase in temperature. Solute and solvent should be in right amount because the amount of solute dissolved in solvent could form different types of solution. Saturated solution is when the solute is more than the solvent, while unsaturated solution has less solute than the solvent. Pressure. It also affects solubility. It is the force exerted to a substance. Steering is a mechanical force using a rod or spoon. Through this, particles move rapidly in the mixture. Pulverizing or powdering is by making the particles of solid smaller. Task number 3. Give examples of solution used at home and state how to dissolve the solute components faster. Fill in the table below. Example, Toyo Mansi. Solvent, Toyo, Solute, Elamansi. Phases 2. How to dissolve faster by steering. Guide questions. What examples of solutions have you listed? Number 2. What are the factors that could affect solubility of a solution? And number 3. Are these solutions useful to us? Why? What else can I do? At home, you are asked by your mother to make a cup of coffee for your father. After putting creamer and sugar into the cup, you notice that the creamer and sugar are still there. What should you do to dissolve them well? 
What have I learned? Solubility is the ability of a solute to dissolve in a given amount of solvent. Factors such as heating, temperature, amount of solute, and pressure could affect in the solubility of a solution. Finally, let's go to task number 5. Choose the letter of the correct answer. What is formed when there is too much solute dissolved in a given solvent? A. Saturated solution B. Unsaturated solution C. Mixed solution or D. Dissolved solution It is the ability of a solute to dissolve in a given amount of solvent. A. Mixture B. Solution C. Solubility or D. Dissolution How can you dissolve powdered milk faster? A. By shaking B. By stirring C. By using hot water or D. By pulverizing Which solutes dissolve in water but not in kerosene? A. Salt and sugar B. Salt and pepper C. Salt but not sugar or D. Pepper but not salt Give a short answer for number 5. Compare the solubility of a bar soap and powdered soap. Which dissolve faster and why? And lastly, our reflection, write your personal insights about the lesson using the prompts below. I learned that, I realized that, and I planned to. See you next time kids! Don't forget, learn, explore, and have fun with science!